Okay, so we're gonna start with hair first because you always wanna have your hair done first before doing makeup so it's out of your out of your face. So just gonna spray the hair down, make sure it's wet. You wanna not do this on freshly clean hair. You wanna do it on somewhat dirty hair, like don't take a shower right before doing the hair because the dirtier it is, the um, like stickier it will be and the more it will stay where you put it. So then you wanna brush it through to make sure there's no tangles. And then I spray it down just a little bit more on the top because that's what I'm gonna work with first. And then get some hair gel, a good amount of hair gel. And put that all in the hair just to get a good base in the hair first. The more the better more it will stay and as long as you don't have like a cheapish kind of gel it should stay um, well and not like get hard hard and then what you want to do first is we're gonna do the top half of the hair first so we're gonna take the hair from the top of the ear and I'm just gonna draw a line to the back of the head and just take that hair and then grab the top of the head hair all the way to the very top of the head and then make sure that all comes together smoothly and then you want it to go pretty much the top of the head so if you can see here i have like a peak going to the top of the head. So I didn't take all of this hair that's between the two ears. I left that little peak there so we can um, join it up together easier at the very end. And then I'm gonna make sure that, that goes super duper smooth. And I'm gonna just spray it a little bit more so I can make sure to get that hair really slicked back. And now you should be pulling pretty hard for this and you want the, your, the hair to be right up against the head. You don't want any bumps. So as I'm pulling here, I'm gonna pull it all together. And then I wanna put it right at the top of the head, right where, like, I don't know, top of the head. Yeah. And I'm just gonna pull all of this hair and I'm gonna pull it multiple times, make sure I have it nice and um, flat. And then I'm gonna take that with a hair tie and then pull that really hard every time that you pull the hair tie. So that way it's super tight and doesn't come off. And I'm gonna put the hair tie around as many times as I possibly can. And then you should have it pretty tight and then pull. And if you can see, that's right at the top of her head and it's really smooth all the way through. So that's the top and that goes from the ear makes a little peak here, and then goes to this ear here. And then I have a nice strong ponytail right now. Then the next step is the bottom hair. And the bottom hair, we're gonna again get wet. And I'm gonna apply more gel to that. Even though I already applied gel throughout the whole entire hair before, I want more of it now, just to make sure that it's all worked through the hair because the more gel you have, the better chance it has of staying for as long as we need to. And then I'm gonna start combing that all the way back. And she's gonna flip her head upside down and I'm gonna just brush and comb that so it's all together and the gel is worked through there. And this is where you start the French braid. So if you don't know how to French braid, I would suggest going to a um, like YouTube video on just French braiding for now. Um, but if you have the idea, then it's the same thing, you just go up the hair. So to start it, you're gonna wanna start with a tiny little bit of hair, and this is the part that's gonna hurt them the most because it's those little hairs. But you're gonna start with that tiny little bit at the very bottom of their head. Break that into three pieces. 
and just braid that hair like normal. So don't French braid that one, just braid it so that way each one of those hairs gets braided in. And then when you add on, try to add on with small amounts of hair instead of bigger amounts of hair. And then as you pull it through, try to pull it really tight, kind of like you're pulling shoelaces tight. And that's where people mostly go wrong when they French braid is they don't pull it tight so then it doesn't stay tight. And then you're gonna keep on pulling the other hairs through. Keep on pulling those hairs. And like I said, smaller hairs are better because then you get more of a defined French braid. And then you work this all the way up the head. You're gonna wanna take your time during this part so that way you have no bumps in the French braid. You can do that by laying down the hair as you go. Making sure that when you grab your hair, you grab it from the side of their head so that way you don't miss any of those hairs. And then keep grabbing. And keep pulling it through. Pulling it tight like you're tying a shoe. And you're gonna do this all the way up until you meet, well, pretty much until you get all the hair gone. But that should meet you back up to where you put that ponytail a little bit ago. And if you need to pause the video to finish off the hair, because I'm going kind of quick here. If you need to pause the video to finish off the braid, you can do that and then meet me back when you get to the top. Okay. And then I may, just making sure I grabbed every single hair because this is where you don't want to lose any. So now I have all the hair. So now I'm going to start braiding like a normal braid all the way up to the hair ponytail that we already have there. Um, and then once it goes past that ponytail, I'm just going to put the braid and the ponytail together, grab another hair tie and tie those two things. So you don't wanna end the French braid with a ponytail at the very end of it. You just wanna get it to where it is um, connected to the head right here. So that way there's no braid past the ponytail. So now the ponytail is a full ponytail and has no braid, but the braid ended where the ponytail ended. Now, if you want, you can try and pick out the the ponytail band there, but keeping two ponies in there is perfectly fine and will keep it stronger. So as you can see right now, we have the French braid going up the back of the head. Mine's a little messy, but I didn't take my time on it. And then I have a ponytail coming to here. So that's pretty much the hair for any jazz dance or um, hip hop or that's pretty much it. So this is the hair that's gonna have that. So that's gonna be a ponytail. And then, and then for ballet and lyrical, we have to um, make the bun now. So I'm just going to spray the ponytail to make sure it's um, wet and holds on to the gel. And then I'm gonna use gel in the ponytail so that way that holds on to the, um, the bun as we're making it. Um, she has quite a bit of hair and so I'm gonna make hers into two ponytails but then I'll show you how to do it if you have only one ponytail if you have less hair. So I'm gonna first I'm gonna twist one half of her ponytail and I'm gonna twist it all the way to the end so I'm just gonna keep twisting and as I twist it it's gonna naturally want to twist down onto the head. So once it naturally wants to twist down, then you're ready to actually twist it around in the bun. So I'm just gonna twist it and put it onto her head and then I'm just gonna secure it with a bobby pin. And then as I go around, I'm gonna just twist it some more and just keep laying it on the outside of 
the bun that I already have. You don't want to put it on top of the bun because we don't want to make this bun big. We just want to make it um, flat, pretty much flat against the head. So as you can see, I have that one already down. Then I'm going to twist the second piece of hair and I'm going to start laying that one down around the bun that I already have and securing that with bobby pins. Now I'd use more bobby pins than what I'm using. I would use like a lot more, like every single inch, but because she's not gonna be doing anything in this hair, I'm not gonna use the time and this will go a lot faster. So all of those hairs are somewhat secured. And you wanna make sure that you push the bobby pin into the ponytail that you have in there. There we go. So now that's what would happen for a ballet. You would have this nice bun up against the head so you can see if she looks straight on, it's just right here and it's not a huge donut bun at the top. It's kind of flat against the head. Okay, so if I take that one out, so that's if you have a lot of hair and you can make two, two around. Um, you would do the two halves and pull those around. But if you don't have that much hair, and like me, I can get away with just doing it with one. And she's right on the, she might be able to too, but it's a little bit harder to get it to stay a little bit flatter. So I'm just gonna twist the one piece of hair that I have now, and I'm gonna twist it down into the head. And then I'm gonna just do the same thing, bobby pin it in, keep twisting and put it down and bobby pin that in. and then keep twisting until you get that laid all the way around the outside of the bun. So she has a lot of flyaways. So what I would do if she was using this hair, actually, I'd go through and bobby pin all those flyaways down because she has a little bit of shorter hair there. But that's pretty much what you do for the one. Um, you just take the one piece and wrap it around, keeping it flat and laying it on the outside of the bun every time you make a rotation around. And then to finish off the hair, that's water. To finish off the hair, you just hairspray it all. Make sure to spray the whole entire head. And then take your toothbrush, spray the toothbrush, and then just take the toothbrush and put it from the edge of the head hair all the way up to the bun to make it nice and flat or the ponytail, depending on which one you end with here. And then do the same thing um, with the braid. So that way you can make the braid be nice and smooth and not have those um, like creases and folds and things in there. And then that will make it nice and smooth. And then the other thing the toothbrush does is it will keep the, the edges of the hair from flying up too much and separating from the head. So there you have the hair. If it's a ballet dance for Periwinkle, you'll have your crown and you'll just set the crown at the very top of the bun, put it underneath the bun, and then you'll take bobby pins like this and just secure the crown into the bun so that way it won't fly off. But that's the hair for competition. And like I said, ponytail for hip hop and jazz and lavender ballet, and then um, bun for lyrical and ballet and uh, lavender um, contemporary. We'll have a head hair piece in here, um, but we'll do that at the competition. So it won't matter too much. All right, makeup's next.